In celebration of Black History Month, Penn State is sponsoring a series of discussions entitled Breaking Barriers, the Legacy of African American Athletes at Penn State. This university has a long history of pursuing equal rights for its students and the university community. Before the civil rights movement of the late 1950s and 60s, there was a generation of student athletes at Penn State who took a stand and made a difference. Wally Triplett was the first African American to letter in football at Penn State from 1946 to 1948. In 1946, the Nittany Lions were scheduled to play a game in Miami at the Orange Bowl. Because segregation was a way of life in this country, especially in the South during this time, Triplett and teammate Denny Hoggard were asked to stay home by the Hurricanes and not play in the game. Only the white players were invited to make the trip to Miami, but Penn State took a stand. That was the accepted thing. And so when it came time for uh, the uh, Penn Staters to look and the campus and the feeling on the campus and the feeling of the ballparks was that if we don't, all don't play, none of us play. And so that was the, uh, the uh, spirit that caught on. Two years later, Wally and his Nittany Lion teammates integrated the 1948 Cotton Bowl and forever changed the face of college football with their 13-13 tie against SMU. Wally scored the game-tying touchdown. That spirit spilled over and uh, it, has, uh, it has carried on. Wally Triplett shared his story with current Penn State students and student athletes as part of Penn State's Breaking Barriers series. He talked about his time in Happy Valley, the trip to the Cotton Bowl, and on being the first African American to be formally drafted by the National Football League. This, this was the kind of spirit that was evident in the sports in the 1940s. Wally Triplett and others from his generation were true pioneers and helped to put Penn State in the forefront of equal opportunity. The whole country was different, and that was the thing that Penn State portrayed when it brought in athletes or it brought in students to play, it treated them right. It did treat them right. And I don't think Penn State's been given the credit that it deserves, but it's important to, to me that these kids get to understand what did go on so that they can appreciate what they now have. 